Hey, it's Liz from No Trace. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a broken umbrella into a bicycle seat cover like this. If you're interested in projects like upcycling old umbrellas, click the description box below this video and head over to our Facebook group that's all about zero waste sewing and crafting. I'd love to see you over there. This project is a really great way to upcycle a broken umbrella and keep it out of the landfill. So let's go. In the very first step, we need to measure the bicycle seat. Now I would recommend just doing this outside on your bike, but for the purpose of this video, I took the bike seat off and brought it into my sewing space, but there might be some grease on there. So you might want to just go outside to your bike, take some measurements. We're going to start with a really rough uh, picture of a bike seat cover or a bike seat. And as we take our measurements, we're just gonna jot them down onto here so that we can transfer them to another piece of paper and create our actual pattern. Now you wanna measure all the way from the bottom edge of the bike seat and across so that you get the full size of your bike seat. So this point of the bike seat, it is about 10 and a half inches. I'm just gonna write 10.5 inches. And then if we look at the longest, measurement from this very tip. You want to make sure you're going all the way down, all the way across the bike seat, and we're getting 12, about 12 and a half inches. So that measurement goes right here, 12.5 inches. And I'm just going to continue taking measurements so that I know how large my pattern piece should be. All right, so now I'm gonna take these measurements that I made on this little drawing and I'm going to scale them up so that they're the actual size on a larger piece of paper. All right, so once you have a rough approximation, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is gonna be sort of a drawstring style closure. You just want a rough approximation of how big your bike seat is. Now we're gonna go around and we're gonna actually add two inches to this drawing that we've created on all the sides. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our pattern piece in half along this center line and cut it out so that we get a nice symmetrical bike seat pattern. So just fold it in half and then Cut it out. The final pattern piece should look something like this and you can also double check, sort of lay it over your bike seat and make sure it more or less is gonna cover your bike seat. The next step is that we are gonna be taking this fabric off of this broken umbrella frame and what you wanna do is just open it up, get some scissors and just cut the threads where the fabric is connected to the metal frame. And just take your time and go all the way around and take care of that. When you get to the very center point of the umbrella, you might have to pop off a little plastic decal, but some pliers or a screwdriver should help you pop off that last spot so that you'll, you're left with a frame. And if it's all metal, you could recycle it with your metal recycling. This one has some bits of plastic. so the plastic would have to be removed before it's fully recyclable. But check with your local waste management about how to recycle this metal part. I have also seen some projects for how to upcycle this metal frame. So you might want to check some of those out. I, for example, I've seen folks who will open it up and use it as a, a way to hang some of their laundry and line dry their laundry. Otherwise you might be able to recycle it if it's all metal. Now, before we cut our pattern out of this fabric, we do wanna iron it, and you're gonna to wanna to use a really low heat because this is fully polyester. It'll melt with a high heat iron, and I'm also gonna use a rag to kind of protect my ironing surface and my iron from this material melting. So I'm gonna go iron this. So now that the fabric is ironed and it lays more or less flat, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but it's ironed and it's easier to work with. We're gonna lay our pattern piece on top and we're gonna trace the pattern piece and then cut it 
the fabric out. Once your pattern piece is cut out of your fabric, you're gonna wanna either zigzag stitch or serge the edges so that you don't get any fraying over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and serge the edges all the way around. Now before we sew this into a drawstring style cover, we are gonna be folding it over about an inch all the way around and we're gonna actually add the either cording or elastic into our fold as we go around because we're gonna be creating several pleats and it'll be hard to thread the cord through after you sew it because of all of the pleats that are gonna be on this cover. And you're gonna want about a yard and a half, either elastic or cording or some kind of thin rope to fit inside the drawstring casing that we're gonna create all the way around. Okay, and we're gonna start at the center towards the back end of the bike seat cover. And we're gonna put a clip on our cord or elastic so that it doesn't get sucked into the casing that we're gonna create. And we want that cord to go follow along our casing. So we're gonna fold our fabric over about one inch and clip it or pin it in place using clips. I always use metal binder clips but whatever clips or pins you have on hand will be great. And like I said, there's gonna be some pleats here. So when you get to a, a curve, what you wanna do is just create a small pleat, make sure the elastic is inside and clip that pleat in place. And then just continue, take your time and go all the way around folding and clipping and making sure that your elastic or cording is inside your fold. All right, it's clipped all the way around and I have the other end of my elastic sticking out. I'm gonna add that into my clip so that it doesn't get pulled in. And now we'll take it to the machine. We'll stitch all the way around, but we do wanna leave an opening here near the back so that we can tighten up our bike seat cover when we put it on the bike seat. Over at the machine, I'm gonna start at one side of the back opening that I wanna leave and I'm gonna stitch right alongside the surged stitches that I have on here. And I'm gonna make sure to back stitch at the start and the stop. Now when you get to a pleat, just remove the clip and do your best to sew as close to the edge as you can while also getting the pleat in your seam and you want to be feeling on the inside of the fold that the elastic is near the folded edge not near your seam because you want the elastic to move freely inside your bike seat cover all right so once it's all sewn up you're going to want to either knot your elastic or you could sew your elastic together with a zigzag stitch and then if you have a drawstring stopper or a cord lock, one of these little guys, you could sew your elastic together and slide this on to use to tighten up your bike seat cover on your bike seat. For this cover, I'm just gonna put it on and then I'm gonna tighten it and tie a knot so that it is snug against the bike seat. So just wrap it onto your bike seat. And then what you wanna do is tug on the elastic until it's really secure all the way around your bike seat. So it'll take some time of tugging and then moving the fabric around until you get it nice and secure. All right, once it's on nice and tight, you're gonna wanna tie a knot in your elastic or your cord, or if you have a drawstring stopper like this little guy, you would put that on right here. And then I like to have this extra length. I like to tie the seat cover onto the seat just in case it ever slips off, you won't lose it in the road. You'll be able to find it hanging off your bike. And now your bike seat cover is finished. I hope this video inspires you to take a broken umbrella and turn it into something functional. I'd love to see you in our Zero Waste Sewing and Crafting Facebook group, so just click in the description box. There's a link to join us and hopefully I'll see you there. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the No Trace channel to get notified up about all of our videos. We put out a new video every single week on zero waste sewing, crafting, and lifestyle tips. So I'll see you very soon.